So are you thinking of moving to the Seattle area, but you just don't know the neighborhoods? Well, today we're doing a walking vlog in the Central District. So what's up, everybody? My name is Toba Williamson. This is Leah Zamir at Guild Mortgage. And on this channel, we shoot tons of videos of what it's like to live in Seattle and the Seattle metro area. So if those are videos you want more of, go ahead and subscribe. Click the little bell so you'll be notified every single time a new video comes on. We get reach outs all the time from people moving to the area. We absolutely love hearing from you. We want to help, but we can't help unless you reach out. So give us a call, email, text. We got your back when you're moving to Seattle. So today we are in the Central District. So this is pretty much like Central Seattle, basically, just east of downtown, hence the name. It's super um, close walking distance to Capitol Hill, yeah. downtown, if you walk to Pike Place Market from here, and really close to both the 405, uh, 405 or 90? Uh, I-90. I-90 and I-5. So if you're working in uh, Microsoft, it's a nice straight shot for you. Yeah. So this neighborhood, I feel like it's like one of the older neighborhoods. It's been around a long time, mostly single family homes, but there's been a huge like resurgence and new construction here, townhouses, condos. I mean, you can see right here, we've got a lot of construction going on. Brand new building and the pinnacle of an up and coming neighborhood is a PCC and an all the best pets. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they've dog. got both of them. So <laughs> it's happening. Um, what else? This neighborhood, I feel like it's changed a lot over the years, yeah. for sure. Um, but there's tons of coffee shops, restaurants. It's, there's, really, it's a little bit lower price than, I'd say, like some of the other neighborhoods in the central Seattle. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think the average home price yeah, is? Yeah, I mean, the home prices start probably around... 800 for single family or townhouses more like and then upwards to a million um, we walked by some of them back there but the houses in this neighborhood are a lot older yeah probably like the 20s 30s they're a lot closer together than some of the other neighborhoods like things are a little more packed in here so parking is a little tougher in this neighborhood because of that, a lot of single family homes are sold and they don't have parking too. It's also closest to, well, it's going to be closest to the Judkins Park light rail station. That doesn't open till 2025. And I suspect if it does, when it does open, because of its access to everything, this neighborhood should shoot up even more. I think a lot yeah. of these businesses are prepping for that. Yeah, I think it's gotten popular in anticipation of that too. So we've got some- There's an Uncle Ike's famous pot store. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which Seattle's known for. Um, and then, yeah, we're coming up to PCC. This neighborhood, too, there's a really cool uh, movie theater called Central Cinema. So it's just right down the street, and it's like an older movie theater where they just shoot like old movies, but they have a bar and you can get like full exactly. dinner. And I think everything. I saw Gremlins there. Yeah, and they do like sing alongs in the like for the holidays they'll do like christmas sing-alongs and you go and just like mm -hmm. sing and drink and eat and it's just really fun yes yeah, so especially it's fun when it's sunny out there's a lot of like outdoor patio situations going on at the breweries around here really good barbecue yeah people like playing the music <laughs> yeah there's like the pcc with the um apartments on top we're walking by a little coffee shop here Super cute. And so this is like Union is kind of one of the main like drags through, I'd say. I would say 23rd is a really, really busy street. And then next to that is Martin Luther King Jr. And that's a really busy street. Yeah. So if you are, I don't know, what is that? North? Yeah. South? <laughs> if you're a couple streets up from those two, then you'll get a lot more quiet, quiet area. Yeah. And MLK is where like the light rail goes down through MLK, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's like a stop, but that's South like Seattle. down in Rain, uh, like Rainier area. Rainier. Yeah, there's Beacon Hill, Columbia City, and then downtown, so. Oh yeah, we're walking up to Central Cinema up here. So you'll see just, yeah, single family homes, townhouses, more condos. I think that a lot of the condos that are built are more on like the busier streets mm -hmm. above restaurants and certain things. Look at this lady. 
<laughs> neighborhood vibe. Yeah. Neighborhood vibe oh. alert. Yeah. Oh, look, and they have a reminder that we passed Uncle Ike's, so you have to go back. There's not too many billboards. <laughs> Actually, I think billboards, why is he like three billboards in Washington? I know, there's not that many. It's like a half billboard. On 99, there's a couple. Yeah. Right, by Queen Anne. Right, that's about it. The Central District is low-key one of my favorites, because it is trucks. so central. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, well named. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> Uh, super close to Capitol Hill too, which is like the nightlife kind of like party scene. So if you like to do that every so often, you can like live here, be a little more chill and then I think just it's, pop on down. I think it's really community driven too. My ex-boyfriend lived over here and we'd always walk around and I always felt like more people said hi Yeah, in little, this neighborhood than anywhere else. <laughs> little fun air <laughs> vibe here. And then, yeah, we're coming up Chuck's Hop Shop, which this is like a really popular Place. they stock like tons and tons of beer and you can just go buy beer out of the case and then just sit and drink it and then they have so, like food trucks on the daily yeah so that's a popular thing so yeah like i said we're kind of on the main drag but then when we go down these side streets you can see maybe should we cruise down the main yeah street? see these houses go down the side streets then you can see a little more quaint oh, sorry i keep running quaint quiet I feel like if you're looking for a house that you're going to get a better fair price on but needs a little bit of work, yeah. this is a great investment opportunity area. Yeah. Because you can see, I mean, just there's such really cool old houses here, yes. like big, big ones. Such cute little porches. Yeah. Tree lined streets. You've got the big, like, grass barrier in between the sidewalk and the road, which a lot of people don't know in homes that you buy homes with like these greenery in between the sidewalk they're actually owned by the city but as a homeowner you're responsible like for maintaining the little part in front of your house so oh, really? yeah. I didn't even know that. yeah it's like on title it'll say so just fyi and some people like do stuff with them put like planters and garden and stuff on them but Cute. just a little added maintenance i guess i gotta do that at my house i know right but yeah, just super cool neighborhood. Again, we got lucky to do our vlogs on a nice sunny day. It's been like rainy and cold. We promise past, it like, rains month. here. Yeah. <laughs> every time we do this, it's like, perfect. Look at nice little flowers popping up. Now the weather's gotten warm. I feel like everything's just like poof, starting yeah. to bloom. So healthy. Yeah. The cherry blossoms went even longer than a month in my, in my head. Yeah, same here. Same here. My daffodils are lasting a long time. Here. Yeah. Planted mint today. Yeah. I, I want fresh mint. Yeah. And it's a weed though, so I kept it in a bucket. Okay. Make mojitos? <laughs> yeah, sure. More to like summer salads, you know? Oh, yeah. Good food. We got some remodeling over there. But yeah. Central district. Yeah, you'll see how tightly packed these houses are. So if you like city living, but you want a little bit of space of your own, it's a great place to be. Yeah. Not a lot of parking, like not a lot of garages, not a lot mm -hmm. of like uh, street parking. So that is a coveted thing here. Yeah. Like even, yeah, because I feel like these old houses when they were built, people didn't really have cars or they had like one yeah. Model T or something. So <laughs> you'll just see like these big, big houses and they just have like these dinky little driveways. So you can maybe fit a car on, so. But if the light rail is going to be close here, then you don't even need yeah. a car all the time. I think, is this the stop to, or Capitol Hill, I guess, is the main stop to go to the east side. Yeah. But they have a lot of, uh, my ex worked at Microsoft, and they have a lot of, like, bus systems and, and share pools that exist. Mm -hmm. And he always, like, enjoyed doing those because it's, you can work on his way to work. It's a cool little tree. Wow, that's sweet. <laughs> Jeez, look at this roof. I know, it's like bigger than... Okay, give it a hug. It's like older than this neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> this tree's been around. It's seen some things. <laughs> so, I'm trying to think, what else? Are we going to go anywhere else in Central District? Any parks? Um... We'll cruise. Yeah, and we're going to cruise around the neighborhood so you'll be able to see...
Okay, so now we are in Judkins Park, which is a park just kind of south of the Central District where we just were. It borders just right along um, north of I-90. So, just a nice, quiet little park. Lovely sunny day, just right in the neighborhood. Also, if you're into like rock climbing, there's a really cool bouldering gym that's pretty um, nationally. It's one of the biggest bouldering gyms in the nation. It's called Seattle Bouldering Project. It's a really cool. fun place to go check out if you like that kind of stuff. If you're into climbing rocks. Yep. Okay, let's walk. <laughs> so this is a pretty good sized park. There's parking here. It's like in a neighborhood. So you'll see houses just like right across the way. Got a good little playground for the kitties. Grills. Grills. You can come and camp. Or not camp, but grill. <laughs> Have a cookout on the weekend or the weekday. Weekend. Yeah, you can see like these are some newer townhouses over there that border it. And then we've got these go for about six in between 600 and 700. Yeah. And then up from there. I feel like we're seeing the market kind of. Oh, there's a skate park. Up. Yeah. Skate park over there. More tables, some sculptures. More parking. More parking, that's always a plus. Something for everyone. Flowers. And then you can kind of hear I-90 from here. It's not too bad. That nice grassy knoll. I feel like the grass is just starting to pop up more and grow. Now that the weather's a little nicer. So you got skate park over there. A couple basketball. Basketball hoops. More like these are some older townhouses over there. So you got like the whole mix. Bikers. And then over here we can go over here. I feel like you can look over. Mountain to sound trail. Yeah. Let's do a long bike ride. Mountain to Sound Trail. Yeah, that is a long bike ride, huh? <laughs> you can see... Oh, there's that new construction yeah. over there, too. Hell, from the video viewpoint. Then there's, like, hills over there. You've got Capitol Hill and, like, what, Pioneer Square kind of down that way, downtown. So it's just a nice... Park with paths and yeah. So moving to a new area can be tough, especially if you don't know the neighborhoods, you don't know the areas and what you're looking for, but that's why we're here. We love to help, we wanna help, but we can't help unless you reach out. So give us a call, email, text. We got your back when you're moving to Seattle.